start here. I'm going to do a review of the LX7 by Markham. Um, I'm going on three years with this unit, and I, I absolutely love it. It's my fishing buddy. Just hold the power down, power's up. And I haven't read the directions now for probably, I, this might go on my third year, and I've read the directions once. It's really that easy to use. See, we're fishing in 33 feet of water. I don't know how dirty my screen is. And the way I have it set up, I have a scrolling graph on the left. I have I, what I call the, the Vexlar circle in the middle. I know that's how uh, Vexlars came out originally. It's your old style flasher. I, I, I don't, I'm not up on the latest what Vexlar does. Um, it's all digital screen. The X7's got, I'm gonna get it wrong. I wanna say a nine inch screen. Uh, what I use mostly is the zoom. And you can take uh, 10 feet of the water column and really zoom in. And by hitting the zoom, you can change that depth. So you can go uh, auto, you can move up and down. Obviously, I put the bottom toward, about three quarters of the way down on the graph and set it. Um, sensitivity, I normally run about a three. And I'll drop my line down here, and what you'll see is you should see it start uh, coming down the graph, but it's going off to the side so bad. Here it comes into view. Here it's falling down. And once it hits the zoom, you'll see it come down in the zoom mode. And I'm running a uh, ripping shad right now, so it's got a fairly decent profile. Here it comes into the zoom. Uh, I run between like a three and four in my sensitivity. When I go ultralight, I usually go number four. And you can usually see, I, it's hard to see with the, the GoPro camera, but you can see a little flash on the bottom of my flash. And you'll actually see the hooks dangling. So if you have bait, sometimes you can see if the bait's dangling wrong or if it's just not on at all. And you can set up in the different, different display modes. Um, I really don't touch much else. There's a cone angle. You go between a 8 degree and a 20, 20 degree. Deep water, I run 8. Shallow, I'll, I'll run to 20. Or if I'm trying to catch multiple holes on my screen. Um, I've actually... I've jigged two holes at once, and I, I, I show both jigs on the screen. I'll, I'll open up to a 20 and angle my cone over, so I catch them both. I don't really play a lot around with a lot of these range. I, I don't. It's on auto. I usually leave it there. Um, in the menu, you go to uh, display options, and you can switch, and you can just have one graph, all three. You can display two. It, it's really... It's push button, it's easy, it's self-explanatory. It's one of the easier units I've seen. And I get all day on the battery still going on, on year number three. And I've had no issues with it at all. It, uh, boy, you can see the smallest of little jigs down there. And like I so said, you can even see the separation on your bait and hooks. So I, I'm not gonna go through the display settings. I, and I haven't done the update. Uh, some people say they have a shallow water problem and the update f helps with it. I just fished uh, five feet of water last week and I have no issues. I hate to take something that is working and break it. So I really hope this shows up on the GoPro camera for the review. They are a pricey unit and you know, people prefer Markham, Vexlar, whatever. I, I personally love this. I've used Vexlar very little, so I'm not, I'm not poo-pooing them. I'm just saying I really love this unit and I have friends that have switched over to LX7 as well. So it's just, like I said, once you set it up, you're done. A five minute overview of the directions, really it's push button. Shut it back off, you hold the power button, turn it on, you hold the power button. And then you can mess around with, you know, like I said, the sonar settings, display options. This is the way I run it. Um, some people get rid of the, the, the center flash. I rarely use it unless there's a crappie coming in above my zoom level. And I'll raise up or a pike, you know, you can come up and you can, you can match your line, but they're, uh, I'm, most, I'm mostly fishing the bottom foot or two of the lake anyway, so I, like I said, I, I'm used to it. I stare at this, rarely look at this, sometimes look at this, but it's just the way I, I like to see a few different options. So that's just a quick overview of the LX7 I've been using. So it's been a rugged, sturdy unit, three years, no problems, I haven't touched the battery, charges perfectly all the time, um, really don't have any issues at it, with it at all. So. I'm going to go back to fishing, and if you have questions, comments about the LX7, I'll uh, answer in the comment section. If you need more information, I'll try to provide that as well. 
But other than that, I will end this and get back to normal fishing.